all right so what's up you guys it's your boy don chong for today i will show you guys how to mod dnf duo on pc now dnf duo only dropped a few hours ago and i'm sure a lot of people are wondering can we mod this game and the answer to that is yes so i will show you guys how to do that in today's video now i will be helping you guys install mods for dnf duo but if you want to help me in return then you might want to consider hitting that sub button because i will be dropping a lot of dnf duo content along the way now with all that said and done i don't want to waste any more time let me show you guys how to mod dnf duo from here on out now just a very quick note you might I want to install winrar or 7zip whichever you prefer if you don't have that installed yet because it will help a lot along the way as you install mods and download them i figured i'd give you guys that heads up right now because it will be important along the way now with all that said and done let's get right into it first things first you want to launch up steam and install the game once you've installed the game it should appear amongst the other games that you have installed as well so go ahead and find it in between the two and hover over it once you're hovering over it right click on it and then click on properties it will bring up this little pop-up and we have no business with any of this outside of local files so go ahead and click on local files and then you should be over here now once you're here you can click on four different things but all we're interested in is the browse button so the top one go ahead and click on browse button for me and it should open the dnf duo folder now from here on out we're going to do the hardest part about this whole tutorial and that is navigating through the folders and this is not hard at all but in case you can't follow along maybe you're watching this video away from your pc whatever it might be i will also leave the steps in the description so you can just go ahead take a look at it and follow it on your own time but for those who are still in here let's get down to business because we have a total of two folders right here and the dnf duo launcher what i want you guys to do is click on the red folder then click on content then click on pux and then you will see that there are two files in this folder already i want you guys to leave these files alone because what we're here for is actually to add in the mods folder where we will put in all our mods that we download in the future and this is the part where i really need you to pay attention because the amount of comments that i received on my guild gear strive modding tutorial that it didn't work and all that sort of stuff is insane whilst people People forgot this one little thing so make sure to pay attention right here what i want you to do is make a new folder and for those who don't know it's right click you go to new and then press on folder now here is the most important part because we're gonna have to rename this folder and i want you to add in a tilde key tilde tilde i'm not too sure how you pronounce it basically it's a little wriggly icon and if you can't find it it should be on the top left of your keyboard if it's not there because you somehow have a different keyboard no problem because i will leave it in the description as well and then you can just copy and paste the name of this folder but without this tilde key it will not work so make sure to add that in and once you have done that all you have to do is type in mods all caps and then press enter we have now successfully made our mods folder what i want you to do is double click on it and as you guys can see the folder is empty at this point you're done with the process and we're only here to do the fun part which is searching for the mods that we're interested in then go ahead and place them in here and then play with the mods that we just found now the site that i recommend using for this will be in the description as well which will be this one right here i also use it for guilty gift drive and i can recommend it but as of this point of time there's only four mods out as we speak and that is not a problem because the game only released a few hours ago now i personally would click on this one i swear to god but for the sake of this video i think this one is the most outstanding one so make sure to click on the mod that you're interested in and then go ahead and scroll down and you can see the download button so go ahead and download that for me and it will pop up on the left side of your screen and this is the part where winrar or 7zip whichever you installed comes in clutch what i want you to do is open up the mod folder that you just made double click on the mod that you just downloaded then go ahead and drag the mod files into your mod folder and from there on out you've installed this mod successfully one heads up whichever mod you download it should always have these two files and what i mean by that is it should always have a pug file and a sig file because those two work together if there's one missing the mod will not work so just make sure these two are always together with the same name and from there on out you've successfully modded the game all that's left for me to do is to show you guys that this mod is actually successfully installed and that's exactly what we're gonna do so i'll see you guys in dnf duel here we are in dnf duel all that's left to do is to check if the mod is successfully installed which i'm 100 sure it did i recommend going to training mode because it's the fastest way to check if your mod has been installed and in this case we modded striker and as you guys can see it's right there modded and all so we've successfully modded the game at this point and i'll show you guys a little bit of gameplay how it looks once you've installed the mod but it's that easy so from there on out all that's left to do is to have fun with the mods installed now just to make sure it really works there it is on screen or striker has been modded and that's all there is to it now that was it for today it was your boy Don Cho. stay healthy stay blessed and i'm out peace